the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of, sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. Verse 33. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verse 34. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Verse 36. But of that day and hour know of no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Kohalayim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rechakodash Pekotam. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, and risking their lives on the freedom to do so. Shalom to Akwaf and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, lead us to the final lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, but who subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church. Hello, servant, coming to you with another lesson through spirit power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. And I came across a quick article. Um, wanted to throw it up so this will be a quick hit Lord willingly and Lord willing this is at a final lesson so um, this is an article out of the news break um, it says Miami Beach declare a state of emergency over uncontrollable crowds. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, they were just saying that too, um, how um the um TSA, you know, um basically was saying how um you had over like a million like one million and three hundred thousand people traveled for spring break. So, you know, um the C D C was worried about the numbers increasing as far as the um C V. And it's funny because, like I said, if you if this 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 jab is so effective against this, why would you be worried when like it's gonna go into the article? You got a lot of the population actually beginning to actually get vaccinated. You know, um, Biden's whole um, you know his whole thing. He wanted to literally have at least a hundred million Americans inoculated by his first hundred days in office. Well, he's he surpassed that number. But it's just, um, you know, when I seen the article, it, it made a few scriptures jumped into my mind. So, you know, because, you know, because you had these states that actually looked at the mass mandates and opened up completely. And, you know, you got this vaccination out here. You know, people are thinking they're themselves to be in a good case. You got people that's actually sitting on money right now because of the fact that you um, got the stimulus and um, you got all these different um you know, you got money right now. You got people who got the income tax system. And the Lord's so cold, you know, right now I could be using, like, I'm going through a whole little thing. But I know it's the will of the Lord, you know what I mean? I'm being tested. But it's just funny, you know. And I was saying, like, even if I don't get, the, you know, because there's some certain things I got to do. If I wasn't to get it, you know, at the end of the day, even if I don't get it, I, I, I hope the Lord just fucked up the economy or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's at the end of the day, you know. I was just listening to, I like, I had planned to get some silver, and then come to find out, if certain elders did videos, they like, it's hard for you to get silver right now, which is deep, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so, you know, yeah, it's, 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 like, this thing is going to come suddenly, you, and, and I, like I said, I, I just thought of a scripture, I'm going to bring out some of the article. Um, this is Second Thessalonians. I mean, no, it's First Thessalonians. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Verse 2, for 
yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh shall come up as a thief in the night. Verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Because at the end of the day, like I said, you got people thinking that they're, like I said, again, in good case because they opened up these different cities. You know, there's allowing you to travel and still participate in the folly of, which is spring break, you know what I mean, where, uh, um, you know, you got these... Babylonians is allowed to go down there and do all sorts of freakism because you know what I mean you know it was funny because I know a person in the world they was talking about they was going and did it come to find out there was some whole other shit to it you know what I mean you got these nigga women that got 50 fucking kids with trying to uh, supplant the, the grandmother to watch the kids <laughs> while they go be you know like um, freaks so yeah this shit this place fucked up and, and like I said and you can clearly see you know brothers did a video about when Biden failed, he failed like three or four times. That's significant. The Lord shows things if you actually are paying paying attention or if, you, if you're being aware. He'll show you things in your face. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the world is a stage. So if you look at it and you got the spiritual eye salve to see it, you know, that was very significant. You know, at the time when, like I said, these people didn't literally had to pass three fucking stimuluses within a year. You can't just keep on printing money out of thin air like that. The more of a, a particular thing, the less least or the le, um, the less of value it is. That's just simple economics. But they don't teach economics anymore. So you know what makes gold scarce and, and, and worth something because everybody doesn't possess it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, So into the article it says, uh, Miami Beach declares state of emergency over uncontrollable crowds. Throngs of revelers flocking to Miami Beach become so uncontrollable that authorities declare a state of emergency Saturday and impose a curfew meant to quash the party. The move makes so lucky. The move marks the second year in a row that fun has been curtailed at the popular spring break destination. Last March, because the pandemic was just ramping up, and this year due to unruly and destructive crowds, authorities announced Saturday that visitors must be off the streets and that restaurants would close their doors at 8 p.m. in South Beach, the epicenter of the city's nightlife. Following an increase of violence and vandalism over recent days, it kind of, it kind of sucks," said John Perez, a student from Texas, having beers with a group of friends on the sand, despite police efforts to prevent alcohol consumption on the beach. In addition to the curfew, the three bridges that connect the Miami Beach Island to mainland Miami will now be closed to traffic from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And the thing is, like you got these mayors and these politicians that's running that city; they're gonna allow this shit to happen. Of course, the um the police can't really like handle that. Like that, because you got more people than you got police officers. At the end of the day, they're gonna allow because at the end of the day, that that generates income. You know that's why you got these certain cities with certain like um. Bear with me for a second. It kind of sucks," said John Perez, a student from Texas, having beers with a group of friends. Mm -hmm. Despite police efforts to prevent alcohol consumption on the beach. In addition to curfew, the three bridges that connects the Miami Beach Island to mainland Miami will now be closed to traffic from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Only residents, workers, and hotel guests will have access. It's been so much fun out, out here. You know, like we got the warm weather, you got the beach, 22-year-old Perez said. An aerial photo released by police Saturday night showed the city's main strip. Ocean Drive empty just two hours after the curfew went into effect. And that's funny, you know, how the Lord is actually, um, like, stopping the mirth because, like I said, at one point in time, because it's so many people, like I said, because they're allowing people to flock there, and, you know, people didn't get to, like, enjoy it like they did last year because of the, the pandemic, you know, people was in that mirthful spirit, but the Lord... You know, they went out there to a place to go kick it, and then they actually making it where the the, the restaurant's closing early. At, you know, you can't even be outside at a certain time. <laughs> but you spent this money to go down there, you know. Showing you the Lord is taking the mirth from this place. Well, he has already taken the mirth. You know, a lot of people faking it. But, you know, 
It says, uh, aerial photo released by police Saturday night show the city's main strip, Ocean Drive, empty just two hours after the curfew went into effect. Miami Beach is no stranger to uncontrollable spring break crowds, but this year with approximately 13% of the U.S. residents vaccinated. So they saying basically 13% of the U U.S. population is vaccinated. And, but yet, yeah, still, like I said, I know for a fact I've read, now they could be playing with numbers, but for the most part, they're not. A lot of people is taking this vaccination. You know, I was just, um, you know, we got a, um, a building here called the Woolstein Center is um, owned by, um, you know, Cleveland State University. And they hold a lot of events there. You know, they'll rent it out. You know, they'll do comedy clubs. They'll do certain events there. And, you know, they made that a max, ma mass vaccination site. I just so happened to be coming from downtown and had to pass it. And I'm talking about you got, you know, you got police all around the area. They're like, like, wow, yeah. Yeah, I saw the crowds of people down there. So, yeah, this ain't them just playing with numbers. They're like, it's a lot of people on board. Because you got a lot of people on board willing to take this vaccination. And you about to see how the devil about to really, you know, turn. You know, he going to turn on you. You know what I mean? Um, There's a movie called um, um, Blood In, Blood Out. And, you know, it was um, like they was Issachar. And you had the different gangs. And, you know, and basically Issachar teamed up with Judah to take out e um, Esau. But then the dude was such a devil, after making the deal with Judah, he turned on Judah. You know what I'm saying? So you could see him, you know, at, at, at first, you know what I mean? Like, cause he was plotting it all in his mind in his, in his jail cell. And then when he, 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 he turned his, when he, when he basically double crossed Judah, he turned in the bed, you know what I mean? And, and you about to see this, this, this red devil do the same thing because it's one thing like right now they hitting you with, oh, it's not mandatory. You know, like his brother that work at Amazon, he like, now I know one brother was there. He was like, Amazon was actually, you can get the shot at Amazon. He, so, you know, for whatever reason, he chose not to deal with Amazon no more. Another brother just got on there. He like, right now they're not forcing it or making it mandatory but what happens when majority of your staff is vaccinated and then you got these few stragglers you really think they policy gonna be oh well we're gonna just allow no that's why they setting it up this way you know esau and, and his government you know this wicked ass system ain't gonna have to really enforce it like that because you're gonna have these silly ass peon babylonian <laughs> babylonians that's gonna be enforcing it like oh well i got my vaccination what about these people you know, it's setting up the perfect, you know, ground for it because, you, like I said, you got a vaccination that's supposed to help fight all these different variants, but then yet still, you still got to actually wear masks and all. Like I said, so, like, like I said this shit going to be crazy. So, like it. It says, just go get your vaccine. That's the spirit. Just go get your vaccine, y'all, so that you could come out here and have a good time like us because we vaccinated, baby. Jalen Robb. Another student from Texas told AFP, another man with his face painted like the Joker stood on top of a car yelling, COVID's over, baby, while waving an American flag and a video posted to Twitter by filmmaker Billy Corbin. And that's the spirit of all this is being brought out. Because like I said, look, you got people that think in peace and safety. Like a rock concert. Acting city manager Raul Agulia said the city's curfew moves to where all about the public safety. He described huge crowds that had a gathered on Ocean Drive as looking like a rock concert. You couldn't see pavement and you couldn't see grass. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelbert said Saturday while announcing the curfew that the volume is clearly more than it's pre in previous years. And I can see that because of the fact, like I said, you have all these people locked down. And now, like I said, because they got some kind of semblance of, oh, you thinking, they're, and then the, they're allowing them to still have a spring break there to, like I said, to produce revenue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can see more people. Like, people ain't never been. You know what I mean? Like, shit. People got this money right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, I know right now, personally, somebody I know from the world that literally, basically, family trying to supplant them to go down there to be. Like, at first, it started off, they was all supposed to be going. She thinking she going to enjoy herself. You know what I mean? She the adult. For, you know what I mean? She like, <laughs> but to come to find out. Her daughter and, 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 and these other females are basically trying to use them. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what kind of nigga shit is this? Because y'all all got money. Y'all got money to do all this shit. You know, y'all going to go to Disney World and all that. So if y'all got all this money, wouldn't you have money to go, like, help somebody pay somebody to watch your fucking kids? But no, a nigga wanted to supplant them. <laughs> it was kind of funny, though. I think... Uh,
it is in part due to the fact that there are a few places open elsewhere in the country or they're too cold or they're not open and they're too cold, he said. Over the last several days, viral videos have emerged showing fights in restaurants. And all you're going to see is, like I so said, you're about to see shit get way wilder. Yeah, because all these people got spirits on them. That's what I say. You just uh, see me read it. You got to do uh, face painted up like the Joker. And when you go into the Joker, like, that's a spirit. It's a spirit of chaos. So, like I say, and, and, you know, like, and you can't even make this shit up. So he coming with that type of energy down there. So obviously the reason why they actually um like doing curfews and whatnot, because it's more rowdy than before. Like I said, they talking about they literally up there just drinking on the beach and they try to police. And you know, you can get away with it. I, I remember when I was in Florida, we, we was in Jacksonville, and um they would have certain events and they allowed you to walk around with the beer. But Jacksonville is like considered like a hick ass town. But it's like the biggest land. It's deep, you know what I mean. But it's it ain't it ain't it ain't Miami or Orlando, you know what I'm saying? Like they more fast paced, you know what I'm saying? Like like Florida faster than a lot of cities anyway. But it's considered when you go to Jacksonville, considered a hick spot. I mean, you can see they off into some shit. I swear, I've been to other places, but I've never seen a place where every corner we went on, it was a fucking Masonic temple. Um, letting you know who run that shit. Miami Beach Police Chief Richard Clemens said he is concerned the situation will become unmanageable. On Thursday night, we had an issue where hundreds of people ran at one particular time. Tables and chairs were thrown and used as weapons, he said. He added that the police had hoped it was a one-time event, but last night we had three of those situations, and we had a young lady that got hurt as a result of trying to run away from the crowd. And you're going to see more incidents, inc inc instance, inc instances like that. Because you got all these people, like I said, with all these spirits trying to, like I say, enjoy themselves in a place that's actually, like, decaying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Coming with them folly spirits. So if you see all this, you know, if you see the end approaching, what manner of person are you, are you ought to be? It says, one of the city's most iconic venues, the Cleveland South Beach. <laughs> that's the spirit. The Cleveland South Beach announced Friday that it was closing its restaurants and bars and would keep only the hotel running. We can't continue to be... Fortunate, we have to do something. We have to do some things that are going to mitigate those circumstances. Clement said. So, uh, as you can see, like you say, um, you know, peace and safety. You know what I mean? For people in the spirit of mirth, that's actually, um, um, you know, um. People are in the spirit of mirth in a place, like I said, that's being destroyed, you know what I'm saying? And it made me just think, like I said, of um, the book of Second Ezra, and I'm going to end on that because I'm good. The second Ezra would say, because uh, basically they don't curfew. They done spent money to get down there. They spent money. You spend the money every day, you know what I'm saying? You got to remember, like I said, they spent money to get there. And then, like I said, now nah, you can't even, like, kick it the way you want because <laughs> they say they under a curfew. They under a state of a so it made me think of uh, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen. And it, 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 uh, well, shit, I'm gonna start at verse sixteen because it says, "For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power." And they not regarding those people like in positions of like the police you know what i mean what they say they use tables and chairs as weapons you know what i'm saying they just literally out there just drinking you know what i mean and and and, and, and best believe you know what i mean like it, the police can't police everything so just believe people because if you got more people than you got police how, you know, that's lawlessness. And it's going to be lawlessness. You know what I mean? Like, they can't pull... You, you got to remember, millions... I just told you. I just read an article or did a video on it. They talking about... Well, yeah, I did a video because they were saying, basically, um, the TSA literally said that, like, 1,300,000 people basically had traveled during this whole... Um, for spring break. So you had... Like they said, and you just heard the mayor say, he said the numbers were more significant this year than they previously been in other years. Because of the fact that that's a warmer um, climate there, so more people want to go visit it. And then, like I said, because it's this illusion of, oh, uh, everything's going back to normality. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. 
Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And that's where I'm going to end it at, because at the end of the day, that city is being troubled now. They can't travel like they want to because the, the <laughs> Florida is under a state of emergency. Miami, you get what I'm saying? So with that, Lord willingly, it was an edifying lesson. If you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, or be destroyed. Because like I said, if you are in the spirit, you can see something wicked this way comes. Really. Like something about to happen. Come on. They, they said, her brother said he had on the Facebook, he said, shit, just a random um, question. Of, you know how the people be just random posters. He was saying, shit, why is they giving out all this money? What, the world about to hit us up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I'm going to end the lesson. Lord willingly, it was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Call her loyum, la yahawah, ba Hashem, yahweh shai, ba Hashem, rachakal, that's what thumb. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth for faith and sincerity, reversing their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwat and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, it was an edifying lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations who appear like the other nations. But subscribe to this truth to USA Shalom. Till next time, Lord willing, it will come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom, Mawath Laba Ball. Look at the nigga woman. It's always a nigga woman, too. Shalom.